been a day, you guys. So I don't talk about it very much, but I am a full-time uh, engineer. I work in research and development. I typically work remote, but we basically had to like pitch our department to the, these sales engineers. Um, so I had to go in this morning and do that. And like, I just, I get stressed. Like we had a work dinner last night um, with them. So like, I already knew everybody there. I knew exactly what I was going to talk about. And that stuff just, it just stresses, it stresses me out, but it went really well. Um, and then I have a customer meeting tomorrow. So I have to like wrap up my presentation for that. And now I am on my way home. I grabbed the stuff from Trader Joe's on my way home. So I'm going to go home, work a couple more hours. Um, and then I'm going to film the Trader Joe's haul for you guys. All right, guys, let's dig into what I got at Trader Joe's today. Now, I will, I went in with the intention of looking at their holiday stuff. So I honestly don't go to Trader Joe's that often, mostly because I end up spending too much money. <laughs> but I do go, like, I love, like, their cookie butter is, like, one of my favorite things. I actually really want to try and make peanut butter cookies but with cookie butter like I understand that like cookie butter is cookies so like making cookies out of cookie butter seems strange but I think that if you did like cookie butter like a version of peanut butter co cookies I think it would be really really good but anyways tangent um I went in because I wanted to see their holiday stuff because I've never actually went for Christmas so like the Trader Joe's that we have near us hasn't been there for very long um, so I literally went to my first Trader Joe's, I think, in 20, the close to the end of 2020, um, is when I went to the first one. Maybe, that sounds right. So, um, haven't really went during the Christmas season, and um, I've always been curious. So I went with every intention of getting all Christmas things, but like I said, I don't go all the time so if some of this is stuff that they have like all year round I apologize but it all sounded good um let's just go in oh I can tell so this is just obviously the cauliflower gnocchi like I just get it every time I go <laughs> like I obviously know this isn't Christmas so I got two bags of the cauliflower gnocchi and then this is the other thing that I get every single time that I go and it's just this little like cheese sampler pack and I will probably just eat this like for dinner because I'm healthy <laughs> and I just I don't know I really like it um the next thing we will do these I guess so funny story at Thanksgiving my sister who is about to have a baby was talking about how she was really craving these and we had gotten them at Aldi in the past and she was talking about how she couldn't find them. So I haven't decided if I'm going to give them to her now or if I'm going to save them for Christmas um, because I feel like if I wait for Christmas, like maybe like the craving will have passed. But um, also I'm 99% sure she doesn't watch any of my YouTube videos, which is totally fine. But um, I actually got these for my sister. They're actually really good. Um, they're just like sweet red peppers that are filled with cream cheese. Like they're actually very, very good. We put them on charcuterie boards is where what we've used them for in the past. But that is actually for her. I was going to get a jar for myself, but I just didn't want to. This I'm actually very excited about. Um, another thing, I'm just like telling you all the things that I don't really talk about today. I don't really do chocolate. Um, like, like I love white chocolate things, but like milk chocolate, dark chocolate not my favorite. I will do an occasional candy bar, like a Snickers or something, because I love the filling. Like, I love caramel. But anything that's strictly chocolate, not my thing. And I want to like hot cocoa so bad, because I just think it's cozy and warm and marshmallows. And so I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that salted caramel hot cocoa is caramely enough that I like it because literally right now I'm drinking coffee and like we don't do decaf in this house so I'm like winding down in the afternoons with a coffee and it's not really considered winding down I don't think even though I don't think it keeps me up it might like I might stop drinking it and like be like oh okay but anyways I'm gonna see if I can like 
do the salted caramel hot cocoa. Like I'm, I'm very excited. And as I was checking out, the girl told me that she really liked it. So fingers crossed. Um, I got candy cane green tea. So before I was drinking, if I don't drink coffee in the evenings, I have a, um, cup of tea. I absolutely love tea. I don't really sweeten my tea at all. Um, occasionally I will put honey in my tea but that's usually only like if I'm getting sick because the I think that the honey is really good for you if you're getting sick and it's good for a sore throat but um I we have mint wild mint that grows um by our barn and I love like mint tea so candy cane tea that's gonna I'm assuming it's like peppermint um as well but I'm very excited for this, and it is decaffeinated because uh, a lot of the teas that I have are not decaffeinated. So um, I got that. I got some caramels, which I'm super excited about. And, like, they have so many holiday chocolates out right now. And, like, I wish that I liked chocolate because it looks so good. Like, it looks so, so good. Um, I just, I don't. It's just, I... Like, candy chocolate, I can do more than any other kind of chocolate thing. Like, chocolate pudding, chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream, chocolate syrup, hot fudge. Like, most of them make me gag um, if I smell them. Like, I just can't, can't. But I got caramels, and I'm excited. Then I got some of these sparkling cranberry ginger drinks. Um... These just sounded really good. Like, it's it's basically like a cranberry ginger carbonated water. Um, I love ginger things. Like, absolutely love ginger. Um, I'm the person that, like, when you finish the sushi, sushi and there's, like, the ginger left on the plate, like, I just finish off the ginger. Like, I absolutely love it. Um, I like it in juices and smoothies as well. So, I'm very excited about that. Along with me really liking ginger, I got ginger turmeric tea. Um, this is another caffeine-free one because, like I said, I am going to try to not drink coffee in the evenings, I say, as I have my large <laughs> Starbucks coffee right now. But whatever. It's technically not evening quite yet. Almost, though. Um, but anyways, ginger turmeric tea. Um, I have no idea if this is a Christmas item. It's just, I've never really looked at their teas and they actually had like, um, I, since I bought these two today, I didn't buy any of the other ones, but they have a blood orange tea that I really want to get because I love blood orange things as well. So I'll probably get that next time <laughs> further <laughs> with the ginger theme. Um, ginger mints haven't tried these they literally just reminded me of, like, the Altoid Sours that my mom used to get. Like, I have no idea if that's what these are at all. Um, but that's what I'm picturing. I could be totally wrong. Let's just, let's just see, shall we? Oh, they're not, not quite expecting, yeah. Um... Okay, if you like ginger, it's really good. I really, really like it. And then the last thing, <laughs> okay, I didn't really realize, like, how hard I went with ginger stuff, you guys. I genuinely didn't because I didn't get it, like, all at the same time. But this was something that it had marked that this is something new, and it is a ginger spread. And it says a sweet and spicy spread with ginger puree and crystallized ginger pieces. I have no idea um, what I'm going to use this with. On the side, it recommends that you put it like on salmon, ham, roast. It says mix it with garlic and soy sauce for a teriyaki sauce. Or it says use as a good old fashioned spread for a topping toast, yogurt, or oatmeal. Not sure I would put this on yogurt. Probably not, but I decided to try this. Um, I think I got it more, um, like I, w I figured I would try it on toast, not gonna lie. Um, but I think that putting it like in a sauce 
of some sort, like if I make like a noodle, like teriyaki noodle situation, I think this would be really, really good in it. Um, but yeah, so not a huge haul. Like I said, a lot of the Christmas stuff was like candy and um, also they had a ton of gingerbread stuff and also gingerbread. It's not that I don't like gingerbread. It's just like sweets in general. I don't really eat a lot of. I eat more now than I ever have. I got a sweet tooth when I was pregnant with my daughter that never really went away. So I eat more sweets now than I ever have, but I still don't have a huge sweet tooth. And my best friend is coming over this weekend and we're having a cookie decorating party. So um, I'm going to have cookies here. So I didn't really need gingerbread stuff. So yeah. Um, but that is my Trader Joe's haul. I know it wasn't a huge one, but I hope that you saw something exciting and please don't judge me for half of the things being ginger. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys. Today's Advent verses come from Psalm 139, 17 through 24. God, how precious your thoughts are to me. How vast their sum is. If I counted them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I wake up, I am still with you. God, if only you would kill the wicked. You bloodthirsty men stay away from me, who invoke you deceitfully. Your enemies swear by you falsely. Lord, don't I hate those who hate you and detest those who rebel against you? Hate them with extreme hatred. I consider them my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my concerns. See if there is any offensive way in me. Lead me in the everlasting way.